Hey guys, welcome to Flat Top King. Hey, today is all about upping our chicken game. You guys know I love Mexican food, so let's make a loaded Mexican chicken breast. Pretty excited about this one. I think we got a little hack for you. Everybody loves when I say hack. All right, so this is kind of like the inside of our lives. We buy these from Costco. They come in these little discs, little containers, and most of the mornings we'll have an avocado style piece of toast. And I'll try not to eat heavy at all for the mornings. I know that's not part of the video. The point is, this is literally organic avocados, organic lemon juice, sea salt, and organic black pepper, okay? I've been wanting to try this. The idea is we use this actually more often than not, not on the toast. We'll use it for tacos, because everybody knows right now, um, the avocados are not in season. Or what if you go to create a recipe like I did today, and you're like, man, none of the avocados in the store are even ripe enough to do this. Handy, handy, so we're gonna try it out. I think it's gonna work, it should. No reason why it shouldn't. First things first, we're gonna take the juice of a lime. To that, we're doing roughly a three part. So let's say about two tablespoons of mayonnaise, about a quarter cup of sour cream. Use an all purpose seasoning. This has a little jalapeno in it, a little bit of this, a little bit of that. I'm just gonna season that up. And adobo. Good handful of uh, cilantro, and we'll add that avocado to there. It's kind of like a cross between a lime and avocado crema and a chipotle mayonnaise sauce. About a quarter of a teaspoon of garlic. And to that, we're just going to open these up a little bit so that way we can have some even cooking. I'm going to keep them kind of thick because we're going to be able to rotate them back and forth. But you definitely want to try to go even because if not, you're going to have over and undercooked chicken. So try to find that fat part. Something like that right there. I'm going to use this for a little scraps for the kids. But that way your chicken breast doesn't come out dry on one side and raw on the other. Our two main focuses are these chicken breasts. Like I said, these will be for the kids. So just a little bit of oil. Get that all tossed together. And then we'll season that up. Use your favorite Mexican blend of seasonings, taco, fajita, you name it, you can use it. Use the cheese that you like, but we absolutely love this quesadilla style cheese. It's super, I don't know, what do you call it? Rich. Melty. Flavorful. It is good. It's pretty good. So anytime we have a chance to use it, we do. Plus the kids love it. Win for both. We're gonna break this up. Now that we got the chicken, we got the chorizo, we got the cheese, and we got the peppers. The whole idea is Mexican loaded chicken. So far, you guys have loved our uh, loaded chicken uh, ideas or recipes. So since I love Mexican food, this is how we're going to do it. First things first, let's start off with some chorizo. Put this on the cooler side of the griddle. So we're working with the Blackstone today. The one that we refurbished. From the ground up. Nope. I want this chorizo grease to kind of like pull out back here because I'm going to use it for my vegetables. So while that's going, oddly enough, I know what you're thinking. Why not use the middle part of the griddle because the left side and the right side on this black sounds a little bit cooler. And I don't want that intense heat. I got it. Uh, I need to turn that one low. Okay. Because since these are thicker chicken breasts, they're going to take time to cook. And you got to be careful. You got to flip them a bunch.
there's a video that's coming out and I'm not sure which video is going to come out uh, sooner, this one or my tips to create better chicken on the griddle. We get a lot of questions about how to make juicy chicken on the griddle. The one thing I didn't mention throughout the whole video was a dome. And the reason is you had to choose between the two of a dome and cooking your chicken faster and an instant rate thermometer. I'd much rather you spend the $30 on an instant rate thermometer than I would a dome. Because with an instant rate thermometer, you can use a bunch of different ways. Um, a dome would definitely help cook the chicken faster, but you still have to keep it on the griddle for a while. I've kind of cleaned the right side over here, but if you notice, I've left a little bit of that fawn from the chicken. Obviously, you could steam clean it if you want to, but you add your vegetables to it and let the moisture from the vegetables come down. You actually can clean it, plus pick up some flavors from there. Shake that salt, pepper, garlic, and butter right on top. See how much easier that fond is to come up now? All that moisture from the vegetables. Plus it gets in there with the vegetables. Win, win. If there's anything I've taught you, kid, what's the most important thing from here on out? Instant read thermometer. 100%. Got to. You got to know what you're... Each griddle is different. Each chicken breast is a different size. Each chicken breast is a different thickness. Um, you've got to learn your spots on your griddle, but most importantly, you've got to have an instant rate thermometer so you don't overcook your chicken. About 135. All right, the temperature's up there at about 160 to 162 degrees, and that's gonna allow us to start loading our Mexican chicken breast up. So first things first, this is the idea behind the magic. A little trezo. I love those little brown bits on trezo. Take your fajita style vegetables. I don't know why we didn't add tomato. Mm -hmm. Then from there, we're just gonna mound it with cheese. and let that quesadilla cheese just melt all over it. All right, it doesn't take long. Mm. It's a good low carb Mexican meal. People are always asking how to eat something healthy. Health is a wide variety. Everything from fats to proteins. You know, a lot of people are on the carnivore diet lately. So what might be healthy to us might not be healthy to you. But... All righty, she has spoken. Now she's anti-sauce. <laughs> I'm not. I think it's just going to be so fantastic without it. Well, that's probably true too. <laughs> Let's go to that thick part. Mm. Just look at that. Woo. Could be so hot. <laughs> Let me try with the sauce. Uh -oh. <laughs> mm. The chorizo, the onions, everything I love in Mexican food, all summed up in one bite. No rice, no beans, no tortillas. I'm chowing down. <laughs> Let me try it without the sauce. We'll give you one bland bite. <laughs> I don't think it's going to be bland at all. Mmm. Mmm. You know what that's called? That's money, honey. But you stay out of my sauce. All right, guys, there you go. Uh, if you guys are interested, hit that join button down below. It's a membership program. We thank each and every one of you for taking time for doing so. Check us out on Instagram or check us out on Facebook. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to press that subscribe button. Pound the notification button. Share with your friends. Peace. If you're counting day two on the uh, old kidney stone over here. <laughs> Today's been brutal. <laughs> you're pushing through, honey. You want to try it with the sauce? Yeah, I do. <laughs> I do. Stay out of my sauce now. <laughs> Kids probably want the sauce that's so good. <laughs> now, looky there. Now, everybody says you can't eat a big bite. Mm. Look at you. Mm. Dripping it everywhere. Mm. Mm. Good? Not, not good. <laughs>